I don't agree with this one, but we'll take a look at it. It's ranking the NFL triplets, quarterbacks, running backs, wide receiver, tight end trios. They've only done the bottom half of the league. So they go Cardinals 15, Jaguars 16, Colts 17, Seahawks 18, Bears 19, Vikings 20, Buccaneers 21. They have the Browns at 22. Uh, so the Browns are all the way down at 22. Watson, Chubb, and Cooper, they say, are bottom nine in the league, and that's way too low. I, I mean, you got Kyler Murray, James Conner, and a rookie, Marvin Harrison Jr., at 15. Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, and Christian Kirk at 16. Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor, Michael Pittman Jr. at 17. Geno Smith, Kenneth Walker, Metcalf. Caleb Williams, DeAndre Stiff, uh, Swift, and DJ Moore at 19. So I, and then, you know, the, the, the Vikings, they have J.J. McCarthy, Aaron Jones, and Justin Jefferson at 20. I, again, I, I get it. There's some question marks, but that's still way too low. Yeah, I think, obviously, I think there seems like a sense on the outside that Sean Watson still needs to prove it, and I understand that sentiment, but at the same time, I don't think there's any universe where Deshaun Watson should be ranked below J.J. McCarthy in anything. Maybe Kayla Williams, I'll listen a little bit. I won't know if I'll agree on that, but I will at least listen. But J.J. McCarthy, I've talked about it before with him. Yeah, I know he's got one of the best receivers, if not the best receiver in the game in Justin Jefferson. Aaron Jones, for me, obviously is still very good. I just wonder how much mileage he still has left at this point of his career. But with J.J. McCarthy, I have to see it on the field before I can really believe it with him as far as the tangibles go. that the re I said the reason he was going to go high in the draft and where he did was because of the, the intangibles, the leadership, the clutch factor, those different things. You still have to play the game, and you still have to have the fundamentals and the tangible ability to be successful. And I, it obviously, Deshaun Watson, you know, there's still skepticism about him. And like I said before, I can understand it. I, he has to kind of show that he can play consistently. But these are things that we've talked about since January that, you know, we're not going to see any answer to it till they actually play the games in September. And if Watson can stay on the field for five, six, seven games, it's just hard for me to see him really having that fall off and not be not, not getting back to where he was because we've seen so many flashes of it. And it just seems like the more he's been out there, especially in 2023, the longer he was out on the field, the better it seemed like he got. 